afternoon we give you praise we give you glory for this day that you've made we thank you now lord god for every mother every auntie every nana god we give you praise and all that you've done and all that you yet shall do we ask that you bring glory unto yourself in jesus name come on and give god a praise offering <laughs> hallelujah come on and give god a praise offering Amen. Amen. You may be seated, and we certainly do wish you and bless you with a very happy Mother's Day to all mothers, spiritual mothers, natural mothers, and auntie and them. Amen. Thank God for you. Amen. Thank God for my son and my daughter-in-law and my granddaughter. Amen. So grateful to God for who he is. Amen. We give God glory and honor. Thank him for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and our Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to thank all of the leadership, Apostle Leck and elders for stepping in on last Sunday for me. I certainly do thank God for all that he's doing and all the help that we have. Amen. Amen. We're in Genesis, the 21st chapter. Before we bless the babies, we're going to have a word today. Amen. On this Mother's Day. Amen. And I was um, looking in the, the word and I thought about Hagar and the uh, circumstances of her life. I wish I had me some help. Amen. Hagar, we know that uh, Abraham's wife, Sarah, because of her unbelief in waiting for God to give her that son of promise, she tries to help him out. How many people have tried to help God out? Amen. And in helping God out, she gives Hagar for him to have a child with. And his name is Ishmael, a man which had altered the history, altered the lives of not only uh, the Arab people, but also the lives of the Jewish people. Come on, somebody. It pays to wait on God. I can't give me no help. Amen. It don't matter how long it takes for that promise to happen. If you just hold on, God will make it happen for you. Amen. Too many times we alter the plan of God for our lives because we're anxious. And the Bible says not to be anxious for anything. Come on, sister. Not to be anxious. Be, well, amen. Because with prayer and what? He'll make your request. Come on. You can make it known and he'll make it happen for you. We come to, in uh, Genesis, the 21st chapter, verse 9, and Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, which she had born unto Abraham, mocking. She was, he was mocking Isaac. Wherefore, she said unto Abraham, cast out this bondwoman, and her son, for the son of this bum woman, shall not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. And the thing was very what? Grievous to in Abraham's sight because of his son. And God said unto Abraham, let it not be grievous in thy sight, because the lad, uh, because of the lad, and because of thy bondwoman and all that Sarah has said unto thee hearken unto her voice for in Isaac shall thy seed be called and also the son of the bondwoman come on will I make a nation because he is thy seed say help Lord amen Abraham allows Hagar and uh, Ishmael to be uh, uh, banned from their group. 
and she ends up in the desert. Amen. And she looks at her son and thinks he's going to die from thirst. Hallelujah. Amen. And she begins to move out in the desert, and the Lord began to show her where the water is. Come on, somebody. Amen. God will make provision for you where there is none. Uh-huh. Amen. He, she had been wronged because she didn't ask to go in to Abraham. She was told, come on, for Abraham was going to come in to her. Amen. And there are certain situations and circumstances that befall many people. Oh, come on, somebody. And we, it would look like it's hopeless. But when you trust God, he'll make a way. Amen. He'll make a way. Amen. He'll make a way for all our children. He'll make a way. Come on, somebody. Even when it does not seem they're going the way you want them to, uh, God will somehow turn it around. Uh, come on, somebody. You don't have to worry because God will take care of them. And what God said to Abraham, he said, you know what? He isn't the son of promise, but he is your seed. Uh, come on. God will take care of the seed. Amen. It does not matter if the seed don't live with you. God will take care of the seed. Isn't that good to know? Come on. Amen. They could be on their own. They could be in another state. They can be in another place. But God will honor your prayers. Amen. Amen. He, God knew that they couldn't live in the same house. Hallelujah. So he had them to be separated so that Ishmael wouldn't be jealous of Isaac. Oh, my God. Because he was going to be a king in his own right. Uh, the, the travesty is that the brothers still don't get along. Amen. The travesty is that it's a demonstration that the flesh and the spirit cannot come together. I wish I had me some help right here. Amen. But in, in nevertheless, say nevertheless, God will sustain them. He'll sustain them because one day they will come together. I wish I had me some help. One day they'll be brothers for sure. Amen. But nevertheless, Ishmael was great. Amen. And there's still a war between the flesh and the spirit. Amen. So Paul, he began to look at the situation concerning the law. And he uses Sarah and Hagar as an example. Amen. Let's go to Galatians, the fourth chapter. Amen. Say the flesh. Amen. The flesh can be dangerous. <laughs> Amen. We're going chapter 4, verse 21. Paul looks at the situation between Sarah and Hagar. And he said, this is the same situation between the law and the flesh. That some people prefer to live out of the flesh. Oh, yeah. I, I'm talking about in church, too. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Amen. They still want to be attached to the world, too. Amen. And think they can be attached to God. Amen. And so here Paul uses it as an example of uh, what happened between them. But when we look at Hagar, Hagar is an innocent. Come on. But she's guilty. 
Amen. Because in the flesh dwells no good thing. This is God right here. Amen. And so what am I saying? I'm saying that you can be in a place, but you have to watch so that your, your future is not altered by something that was not even supposed to happen to you. Oh, uh, uh, come on, somebody. Amen. That's why you have to watch your associations. You, you have to watch who the people who you, you hang around with. Come on, some. Amen. You have to watch the company that you keep. Amen. Because we all tell our children, you know, if you get in trouble, amen, uh, because somebody else was uh, started it, it, it makes you as guilty as the one who initiated it. Oh, my God, help us all. Amen. So we have to be careful who we associate our spirits with. We have to be careful who we associate with because it can turn us into another place. We can end up in another place. How many people have had to live out of another place? Oh, my God, help us all. Come on, somebody, because why? You were tempted. To do something that you knew wasn't right. My God. But after all that's said and done, what Paul says is that the turnaround depends on you. Mm -hmm. Amen. In Galatians, the fourth chapter, he said, Tell me, ye that desire to be under the law, do you hear, do you not hear the law? For it is written, Abraham had two sons, the one of a bondmaid and the other by a free woman. But he who was the bondwoman was born after the, but the free woman was born by what? Amen. Our children have to know that they are a promise. Amen. And that God has a future already orchestrated for them. Y'all won't help me. Amen. So they don't want to be in a hurry for what is not good for them. Uh, uh, come on, somebody. Amen. Because it's only going to get them in trouble. And when we look at this story, we can see how one's life can be altered. It can be altered when you don't wait on God and wait for the right man or the right woman to come in your life. It can be altered when you have children too soon. I wish I had me some help right here. We can alter our future. Come on, somebody, when we get with the wrong people. Uh, but when we stay on courts, when, when you listen to that mother, when you listen to that father, they'll keep you on track. Uh, uh, they'll help you. Come on, somebody. You might not like a no, but it might be the right no for you. Oh, I wish I had me some help. Amen. It'll be a no that will exalt you in due season. It'll be a no that's worth all that you shall become. Why? Because you waited on God. And you listened and you adhered to the advice of your mother, your father. Come on, somebody. Amen. But when we look at this, we see that we have a choice. Amen. And our choices can alter our future. Amen. Our choices can slow our future down. Uh, you wanted to be this, but come on, somebody. Amen. You had an opportunity to go to this school or that school. Amen. But, amen, you didn't utilize that opportunity, so you got to go the hard way. Uh, so, uh, amen. You can listen to your parents and, and they'll keep you from going the heart. I wish. I, amen. Listen to them while they can help you. I wish I had me some help. Amen. Listen to them while they can give you some direction and some clarity in your life. Oh, I wish I had me. Amen. We live in a generation that think they're smarter. I 
I ain't got no help right here. They think they're smarter. They think they got more sense. Uh, they know more. Amen. Even though they haven't had the experience. Uh, come on, amen. right here is some things you don't have to go through amen you don't need no boyfriend you don't need no girlfriend come on somebody you need them books I wish I had come on somebody so that you can be something so that when you get grown you don't have to worry about where the dollar is coming from and where you're going to eat and what you're going to wear come on somebody but you want to be able to go where you want to go and live how you want to live and eat what you want to eat come on somebody without waiting on a paycheck Amen. A mother can help you if you listen to her. Hallelujah. A mother can help give you some clarity in your life so that, amen. I often hear people, Lord, take the struggle out. Uh, come on, somebody. Amen. Well, God gave you a parent to help you take the struggle out your life. I wish I had me some help. And all you have to do is listen and obey. Oh, my God. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. It'll keep you out of jail. Uh, it'll keep you off the streets. Uh, I wish I had me some help. Amen. It'll keep you focused. Amen. This is what Paul is talking about. He's talking about the choice we make. That we can live under the law. What is the law? The law is the struggle of life. Mm -hmm. we, we can live. We can live to struggle. Or we can live to be that person who is the entrepreneur. Uh-huh. Amen. You got your own business. Amen. And and not no mom and pop business. I I, I can't get me no help right here. Amen. I don't want no mom and pop store. Come on, I want to be on Michigan Avenue. I I wish I had me some help right here. Amen. See, the law will make you say, I should have. The law will make you say, I should have listened. I should have taken the opportunity. Amen. But we thank God. We thank God that even in a mistake, he'll make provision for you. Uh, he even in a mistake, he made provision for Ishmael so that he would be rich and live off the land that he was thrown to. Oh, I wish I amen. When you make when you understand you have made a mistake, you know that it is up to you to make it better for the next person. Amen. To become a testament that you don't have to go down this route. Uh, all you got to do is listen and make a plan for your life and include Christ in the plan. Oh, I wish I had me some help. Are y'all with me right here? Amen. The law condemns. Amen. It makes it look like there is no hope. But when you have Christ, you got hope. Amen. When when you have grace on your side. Amen. 
learn as young adults and young mothers and fathers to teach our children that there is a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof is destruction. Oh my God. We have to live in our choices. Amen. And only when we say, God, I need Christ in my life and I need you to forgive me so that I can be greater. Amen. So that I can look after my father and my mother. Come on, somebody, and follow their example. Are you with me right here? Amen. Paul says, stand fast in the liberty wherein Christ has made you free. Amen. We are free from condemnation. We are free from our past mistakes. We are free to go after whatever God has placed in your spirit. Amen. And be who God called you to be. Is anybody with me? Amen. It pays to listen to your mama. <laughs> I, 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 I can't give you no help right here. Amen. It, it pays to listen to your daddy. Amen. Not when you get in trouble. I, 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 come on. Amen. Everybody want to listen when they're in trouble. Amen. Everybody want to do anything they can to get out of trouble. Oh, but see, you don't have to get to the trouble. Amen. To have an awesome life. Are y'all with me? He said, cast out the bond woman. What does that mean? You can enslave yourself with the consequences of your life. You can put yourself in bondage with the consequences of your life. Amen. How? By having children too soon, before you had an education. Amen. By having children too soon. Amen. Before you finish school. I can't give me no help right here. Amen. And yes, mama disappointed, daddy disappointed, but you stuck. Because it would be your responsibility to raise them. Our streets are full, and, and the, the payment of is travesty. Amen. And death all over our streets. Uh, y'all won't help me because somebody was a parent too soon. Uh, y'all, amen. Someone wasn't a good example. Uh, I, I can't give me no help right here. Amen. Because someone wanted to lead the life by their flesh. And, amen. Because of the selfishness of those who would just have a child and drop it. I, I, come on. I, I, I wish I had me some help. Instead of being in their life, instead of being a part of their life, what is the problem? The problem is we don't have enough mamas and daddies. I can't give me no help right here. Amen. We don't have no help. Amen. And then those that are in the church that, amen, you think you're smart than your mama. Amen. But she a praying woman. Uh, I don't care how far you go. It's only so far you going to get. Amen. I don't care about because you got a praying father. It's only so far you can go. Amen. Because why? God has already made a way. Come on so that you can escape. Amen. We come and we honor mothers and fathers and 
we got a whole nother group of babies coming. Amen. And having those to stand with them. Amen. That we know this is serious. And, and you're not coming just for the sake of lifting up the baby. But you're coming because you're going to be responsible to watch over their souls. You're going to be responsible to help. Y'all won't help me. Amen. You're going to be responsible to help them to become who God has designed. That it does not matter how it happened. What matters is what steps we take to make sure. Come on, they have the right kind of life. I, I can't give me no help. Amen. Don't take being a godmother, uh, amen, lightly just so that you can be up in the, as an audience. But it's a serious endeavor to become a part of a child's life. Amen. It's, and then it's about them living, amen, and you being the example. I can't. It ain't about a present every birthday. They're going in the right direction. Are you helping to encourage the parent to make sure that the children go in the right direction? I can't give me no help. Amen. There is a way that seemeth right to a man. There is a choice. Amen. But while they of age, you are making choices for them. Uh, you either verbally making choices or you physically making choices by how you live. Uh, I, 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 come on. <laughs> Amen. See, they used to say uh, a child would do what you say do, but they forget one part. A child would do what they see you do. I, 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 no, no. Amen. They will become what they saw or what they see you do. Oh, I, I can't give me no help. Amen. That's why you have to be honest and say, I made some mistakes. Uh, come on. I had to ask God to forgive me. Oh, my God. Amen. I don't want you to do everything you saw because everything I did wasn't necessarily right. Amen. But I want you to become greater than. I want you to do more than I've accomplished. Oh, I wish I had. See, if we follow Jesus, Jesus told the disciples, he said, greater works than these. You won't be greater than me, but you're going to do more than I've done. Amen. And we have to raise our children to do more and become more than we become. Oh, to do greater works than we've done. In our lifetime. Amen. And give them that opportunity. Praise God. It's Mother's Day. It's a great day. <laughs> Amen. God made mom. Amen. And he also made woman. Even if she never had a seed, she has the ability to be a mother. Oh, I, amen. That's why you have spiritual mothers in the church. Amen. Even if they didn't birth you, they're able to help you. Amen. Because why? God has placed in the woman the spirit of the nurturer. 
that she has the ability to nurture. Amen. That's why she can be called Godmother. Because even if she didn't nurture you, she has a sense of responsibility to make sure that you stay on course. Amen. So we give God praise today for every mother, every spiritual mother, and auntie and grandmother. Amen. Come on. Can you give God the glory for that?